Good evening, all of you. Respected Dr. Panagadia, Vice Chairman Niti Ayog, Dr. Urjit Patel, Deputy Governor, Reserve Bank of India, Mr. B. Sriram, MD and Group Executive, National Banking Group, State Bank of India, Bank Chairman, Managing Directors, EDs from RBI and banks, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a very happy occasion for Indian Institute of Banking and Finance to organize the sixth R.K. Talwar Memorial Lecture and welcome you all to this prestigious annual lecture in honor of a person whose name is synonymous with probity, ethics, courage, transparency, and good governance. Even today, among other things, late Talawar is remembered with fondness when the subject of good customer service is discussed in any forum. We are happy that many senior bankers and well-wishers of late Talawar are present today in large number. I wish to specially mention that Simati Amita Talwar, daughter-in-law and Mr. Karan Talwar, grandson of late Talwar, are amidst us. A special welcome to both of you on this occasion. Indian Institute of Banking and Finance is an institute promoted by bankers, for bankers and of bankers, has been in the forefront of banking education and training and has introduced many state-of-the-art programs to meet the ever-changing and emerging requirements of bankers. The Institute gives a lot of emphasis to continuing professional development, and lectures like this are helpful in that endeavor. The folder distributed will give some very interesting and valuable inputs in this regard. We are thankful to State Bank of India for extending their support and cooperation to organize this prestigious lecture. I now request Mr. B. Sriram, MD and G, National Banking Group of State Bank of India, to kindly give a brief about the memorial lecture and introduce the chief guest of the day. Respected Dr. Arvind Panagariya, uh, Dr. Urjit Patel, Dr. Jain Mishra, Ms. Uh, Amita Talwar, members of the family, distinguished audience, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a proud privilege for me, uh, on behalf of State Bank of India, to welcome in our midst Dr. Arvind Panagariya, Vice Chairman Niti Ayog to share his thoughts and vision about the economic transformation planned in the country. Before I go on to introduce Dr. Panagariya, I would like to say a few words about the memorial lecture itself. Probably as is well known to the audience, uh, late Sri R.K. Talwar was a doyen of the Indian banking industry and more so in the second half of the 20th century. Sri Talwar was born in 1922 and joined the then Imperial Bank of India at Lahore in 1943 as a probationary assistant. He had an outstanding career in the bank and became the youngest chairman of State Bank of India and remained there for four years during 1969 to 76. He gave a completely new direction and a new orientation to the bank as was seen never before. Under him, State Bank of India took several initiatives in the areas of innovative banking. When the other banks which were naturalized during the time were trying to find their feet in developmental banking, rehabilitation of sick units, credit plans for the rural development, and so on. He also ensured simplification of procedures for financing small-scale industries and launched new schemes for the benefit of small entrepreneurs, businessmen, and agriculturists. A highly principal, principled banker, Sri Talwar, was known for his values, integrity, dynamism, and professionalism. All through his career, he nurtured a culture of openness, frankness, and transparency in the bank, 
and opposed arbitrary decisions. A man of exceptional attributes and indomitable spirit, with an abiding faith in the grace of the divine and honesty and integrity as his guidepost, Sri Talwar commanded and not demanded respect both from within and outside the bank and the industry. His concern for the common man, the Aam Admi, was extraordinary. It was indeed a golden era for SBI. By the time he retired, Sri Talwar was hailed as one of the country's most distinguished leaders. He was also chairman of the Industrial Development Bank from October 1979 to December 1980. Every employee of the bank during that period was fortunate to witness and experience firsthand the outstanding qualities of Sri Talwar, and many of them still hold, them, hold, hold him in high esteem. It was this love and affection that resulted in the germination of the idea to hold an annual lecture session in his memory and relive his ideals. Those affectionate followers within and outside SBI have contributed and pooled a corpus for arranging this lecture session. SBI has also contributed equally to the, towards this corpus. This initiative of the bank is a small tribute to the respect and importance we attach to the values nurtured by him. The annual lecture is being arranged by the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance from the very beginning. Sri Talwar was associated with the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance since 1968, either as a member of the governing council or as president. This is the sixth lecture in the series, and I welcome each one of you to this evening's address. The chief guest for today's function, Dr. Arvind Panagariya, needs absolutely no introduction to this August gathering. It's indeed my privilege to recapitulate some of his innumerable achievements. Dr. Panagariya is the vice chairman, Niti Ayog, and has been professor of Indian political economy at Columbia University. He is a former chief economist of the Asian Development Bank and professor of economics at the University of Maryland at College Park. He has also worked with the World Bank, IMF, and UNCTAD in various capacities. He holds a PhD degree in economics from Princeton University. Dr. Panagariya has authored more than 15 books. His book, India, the Emerging Giant, was listed as a top pick of 2008 by The Economist magazine and described as the definitive book on the Indian economy by Farid Zakaria of the CNN. The Economist magazine has described his book, Why Growth Matters, with Professor Jagdish Bhagwati as a manifesto for policy makers and analysts. Professor Panagriya's scientific papers have appeared in top economic journals, such as the economic, uh, American Economic Review and the Quarterly Journal of Economics, while his policy papers have appeared in the Foreign Affairs and Foreign Policy. Until recently, he wrote a monthly column in the Times of India, and his guest columns have appeared in the Financial Times, Wall Street Journal, and India Today. In March 2012, the government of India honored Dr. Panagariya with the Padma Bhushan. Today, all of you are well aware that Dr. Panagariya is spearheading the Niti Aayog in chalking out new dimensions to the planning and growth process in the country. I believe that today's lecture on growth, poverty, and economic transformation in India being highly topical, especially in the light of the PMJDY and other schemes currently underway in the country, will benefit all of us. May I now, on behalf of the audience and behalf of SBI and IIBF, request Dr. Arvind Panagariya to kindly deliver this sixth RK Talwar Memorial Lecture. Thank you. 